Hello internet. So I'm going to talk about one of my favorite shows of all time, Dexter. Yes, it's had its problems. <laughs> um, but Dexter New Blood, um, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. So I'm, I'm going to I'm going to talk about it a bit, and then I'm going to talk about what I think should have happened. I mean, everyone thinks they know what should happen, uh, but that's the way finales are, aren't they? Uh, though Breaking Bad, there's not much you could what would you change about that it's perfect uh, Sopranos perfect kind of ending but Dexter for me um, as a season I really enjoyed it The the in hindsight the whole billionaire thing was totally pointless I don't I don't get what they're trying to do there what the whole point of that was maybe trying to sorry I'm just doing something on my phone maybe try to do something like get you off the scent of Kurt Caldwell and maybe that was it and I thought uh, Clancy Brown was fucking amazing that guy's such a great actor he was in this really cool show on HBO called Carnival years ago it was a great show uh, but um, yeah I thought I liked what they did to the point with Batista I was like fucking here we go and I think after that point, that's where I would change things. So for me personally, I always had envisioned Dexter ending was like he's in he, he's just, he's doing a voiceover and he's talking about you know how things could have gone differently and blah 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 and the camera slowly pans out and pans out and pans out and you see he's in the orange jumpsuit in jail and then he kind of then you see what leads up to that. Now you couldn't, they weren't going to do that in this because they'd already, you know, established what they were going to do. But I think from when Angela rings Batista, they, sh they, sh they should have had it that Batista came into the fold and it was a Dexter on the run thing for an episode. You know, that... that you see him how he's like desperate to kind of keep getting out of the situation and you have to get him you have to let him get caught see that's the thing yeah you have Dexter can't get away they could have let him get away and done some sort of season 2 but eventually he has to get caught no 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 one wants to get caught I would like if there was a season 2 of Dexter and he somehow got away out of this I'd be like cool I'm all for that <laughs> or season 2 for Dexter New Blood but you know you have to be kind of logical about these things sometimes and Dexter always had like plot holes that you're like meh you know but it would have been just so cool to have Batista in the fold and Batista is the one who eventually confronts Dexter and they have that conversation of like why did you do this you know like Batista is pretty much down with the fact that he's like okay well Dexter is the Bay Harbor Butcher like he knows it and um that would have been so cool. That would have been, it would have given like Batista's character closure, where it's just was like he phoned up. We don't get to see Batista. It was like, ah, oh, come on, man. That that would have been just so cool. Like sometimes you kind of gotta give fans what you want, what they want. Sorry, and I think writers they try and be too clever sometimes. They're like, yeah, but you know, it's so obvious. It's like yeah, sometimes the obvious thing is kind of the cool thing to do, <laughs> you know. But I don't write the show, so. I don't know but that would have been just cool and have Batista bring him in or like to have this conversation and having his son kill him like I know where they were going oh set his son free but like I mean what happens like two days later when Harris is like holy shit I killed my old dad yeah he's a serial killer but it's still his own father so he has to deal with that um I thought uh, Jack Alcott <laughs> who played um, Harrison was amazing I thought he was such a great character um, I thought when he first came into it sorry I'm just looking at my phone here because I'm trying to look for someone's name I hope I didn't get his name wrong Jack Alcott that's what it is thank god <laughs> I'm terrible with names <laughs> but um yeah um I thought when he first came in I was like ah oh, this is a bit kind of ridiculous his son 
just happens to find them and blah 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 so, sorry about my glasses they're ridiculously I broke them and they're kind of lopsided but anyways um, I thought it was kind of you know whatever but they I think the acting was so good like you know Michael C. Hall is fucking fantastic he's just such a great actor you know a lot of the times even when Dexter was clunky he kind of redeemed its clunkiness but um yeah you can see they're kind of like yeah but what if uh, he goes to LA and becomes a serial killer you know there's that kind of thing which would be cool I'd watch it I'm just gonna say I wouldn't watch it of course I'd watch it but for me I wish they kind of left it that, that Harrison realised he wasn't like Dexter because he has a morality that Dexter Dexter's whole um code thing is just a bullshit excuse so he can kill people like you know what people don't understand like Dexter is a serial killer like he's not like a good person he kills people and he uses the code as an excuse to justify what he does whereas I think maybe Harrison is more of a he sees it as more of a of like why am I like this whereas Dexter kind of kind of goes why am I like this but he accepts it and I don't think Harrison accepts it but um, if they do go in that territory it'd be interesting because he's a great actor but Dexter's such an iconic character you know you're like ah, I don't know but yeah that's my that's my little short summary of what they could have done with it you know have Dexter you know like I said, on their own, and just bring Batiste into it, and bring those characters into it more, that they have this final confrontation with him, and they're all almost like surrounding him, and going, why did you do this, and, you know, because it just, it, uh, it was kind of like a rushed ending, I think, I think, and then Dexter always had to die, no matter what people say, if it was that he died and got caught and was in the electric chair or died and got shot somehow. I thought initially um, when the shot was fired, I thought it was like um, Angela who fired him, fired, sorry, fired at Dexter and then it would pan out and you'd see that she fired and it wasn't Harrison. But they went with Harrison doing it, which I get it, but I also wasn't too mad about it. I thought, ah, well, I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure they used that as a kind of thing to kind of set up well Harrison did kill his own father and then how he struggles with it and this and that and, but like if you're going to end the show and that's the end of the show like end it you know don't try and do these set up another kind of thing because and if they do end up that you gotta bring Batiste and those boys into it you know you gotta you know but then it's like he poor Harrison is a tragic end too. <laughs> you know it's like Jesus Christ but uh, yeah that's what I would have done personally I'm sure loads of people would do way better things than what I thought but that was my first initial thought I was just like you know to have him on the run for an episode would be cool just like you know the dogs do that. almost like Rambo 1 in Rambo 1 when he's like in the caves and all this kind of stuff you know what I mean so yeah that, that's that's personally what I would have done but um, yeah overall I, I really enjoyed the, the final, final season, season. Um, I, I thought, thought the act was really good the, the chick who was the, the Mary fuck killer whatever fuck that was her character was annoying I'm sure she's a great actor but her character was so annoying it was just like oh god it was just not my vibe um, I think the core characters though were, were great you know and as, as the pr show progressed you know they got it's not that they got better it's just that you kind of get to know the characters so it fleshes them out whereas with Dexter we had seasons of like Quinn and LaGuardia and all that so you, they're, you're, you know you find out more about them so they're more fleshed out and um, I, th I probably could have gone see two seasons of this personally just to kind of flesh it out more you couldn't have the the like I said the run thing a full season but you could have done something I don't know what you could do but yeah but f for what it was I really liked it I really liked it so yeah Dexter I mean 
if people disagree with me let me know I'd love to and especially I'd love to know people's what theories of not theories but people's uh, endings what they would have done or if they would have done anything different so yeah take care bye bye